Hello, my name is Edson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about folksonomy. Folksonomy as taxonomy, they were introduced in, back in DNN 5.3 and in a previous video I have demonstrated the the capabilities, the, the, the feature, the taxonomy feature. Now it's time to talk a little bit about folksonomy. Folksonomy goes hand in hand with taxonomy and they even share the same management interface. So the first thing that I that I want to do is I want to explain what folksonomy means. Basically folksonomy in in a general in general terms it's the the act of user users classifying the content of the site. So now uh, as as compared to taxonomy, taxonomy it's the administration, the administrator of the website that will classify the page and the content. In case of folksonomy, is the community. The community is classifying the content, is tagging the content, is tagging as they they see fit. So, so how does that happen? Basically, for for a, a .dot .tech site at this point to to allow users to tag pages. The skin needs to have the tag skin, the, the tag uh, skin object. And in the previous video, I have demonstrated how we can do that. How can you can add that to a skin? So at the bottom of your .dot .network website, our .dot .network website, we can see the, a little image here that shows tags. But there, are, there are no tags here at this point because what happens is that nobody yet has done any tagging for this website. Now, myself as a, as a regular user of this website, how can I tag this website? How can I tag those pages? And again, tagging at this point is in a page level. So how, how can we do the tagging of, the, of this page? So I'm just going to open Internet Explorer and I'm going to log into the site, again, the same site, but I'm going to log in as a regular user, just a registered user. I'm just going to log into the site as John. And now if I scroll down, because now I have logged in as a registered user, I have the ability to add tags to this page. So I can just click add tags and I can say that this is a DNN, this is related to DNN and this is cool. So I can save this and again, just a regular user. So now I can see the tags. I can also click on the tag and see the future of all the different pages that were tagged as DNN in our case here. I can go back, I can filter the same thing based on cool. So again, this is the act of users classifying content on your website, the community classifying the content. So this is really, this is what Foxonomy is all about. Now, I'm going to put another hat here. Now, as an admin of the site, I may not like what uh, what kind of uh, tags people are putting in, in, in my page. So I need a way to, to manage that. So I'm just going to go back to Firefox here and I can log into the site as the admin of the site. I can log in as host or admin. And then I can go to the admin menu, scroll down to taxonomy. Now you get to know what the existing vocabulary, existing system vocabulary called tags is all about. If we gonna, if we come to tags and if you click edit, you will be able to see all the different terms that your users have classified the content. So let's say that you know what Ad, uh, DNN, that's okay. I can I can live I can live with that term, but cool, no, I don't want that term to be set uh, as one of the terms in my in my website so I can click on cool and I can delete that term so if I go back as as John which is the logged in user if I refresh the home page see the, that tag cool is no longer there so now I can only filter by DNN so basically in a nutshell this is this is what Foxonomy is all about if you want more information there is a very very good blog post from Charles Nurse and I will post this link in the video in the video post so you can you can go there and you can read more details about taxonomy and folksonomy but this is pretty much it 
Now, I'm sure that over time, more and more different use of taxonomy and folksonomy will be implemented either by, by Dota to Corp and by the community as well with the creation of modules. I know that there is a very interesting tag cloud module that already integrates with, with the, the taxonomy and folksonomy. And one, uh, in, uh, in a future video, I might cover that one. But this is, this is about it in terms of folksonomy for now. Thank you very much. Bye.